Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Technical Minecraft. I'm MCSH and I'm here to play, well, Minecraft technically. And uh, guys, in the last episode uh, we played a lot with Shaky here and we developed lots of different libraries for it. And uh, Shaky basically can now farm this land over here and it has a really nice interface for creating um, for writing programs. However, I'm not sure if you have noticed this, but look at this. And then look at this. And then this. And then this. And I have like four more chests down here. Okay. Go away. And I have like four more chests down here. So, my inventory management is not great, and we need to do something about it. I have installed Applied Logistics since day one, because I really like this mod pack, and it adds a lot of different cool stuff. And, uh, basically, I want to start creating a inventory management system using Applied Logistics. So, if you don't know how Applied Logistics works, basically it is um, it it's, a, it's some sort of a computer that let me switch this camera. It's some sort of a computer that you put items through and it turns them. I'm making air quotes at the moment, and it turns them into energy and then stores the energy, and that's why it's called Applied Logistics. And it's a really cool inventory uh, management technique because you don't need to have this many chests around and you can uh, create auto crafting and stuff like that and it also integrates really well, really well with open computers so we can control our robots using the applied logistic mods or uh, control the applied logistic system using open computers and uh, if you have if you haven't noticed already, I'm having a hard time pronouncing Applied Energistics, so I'm going to call it AE from now. Okay, so let me get it started and I'll come right back to you. Alright guys, I am back and I think I gathered everything and I also cleared a little bit of a space for us to test and ex experiment with things. So, um, okay, let's get it started. The things we need, first of all, we need an inscriber in order to create different things. And then we need an ME drive in order to host our storage cells. And then we need a terminal to connect to the drive and an energy acceptor in order to uh, charge everything up. We could in a, uh, use an ME chest instead of a drive and a storage cell, but I really don't like the chests. And this is very basic uh, applied logistics. Uh, this will not allow us to, you know, store a lot of different items or place terminals everywhere. But it's a start. And I think I'm going to uh, accept that over not having any applied logistics and have loads of chests around. So anyway, let's let's start by creating our inscriber. So we need two sticky pistons which is easy. And we also need a Fluix crystal. Now the Fluix crystal is a little bit weird. We need to drop a charged surface quartz plus another quartz and a redstone. And then uh, into a pool of water and then wait. So a redstone, a charge uh, searches quartz and a nether quartz. So let's actually double everything because I think I need four. And it should, yeah. So we we got four flux crystals back. And uh, this uh, charged searches quartz, uh, you can find them underground. There's another type of surface cords which is not charged and uh, 
you can actually transform these uh, using a well charger I think it's what it's called yeah using a charger and uh, we can go ahead and create one of these as well later but for now let's create our inscriber first so here's an inscriber and the way applied logistics work is that you have different types of press let me get my presses really quick and uh, you use those press on different materials in order to create different things so we have a silicon press a logic press an engineering press and a calculation press and I think I place up in the wrong spot. All right. So you have to find this press in those meteor sites that we saw earlier. One of them was over there and uh, I, over here. And then there are quite uh, a lot of them around the map. I traveled to each and every one of them and gathered four in order to progress. So next step we actually need power to run this so let's just put it here and generate a little bit of power um are you working yeah all right so next we need to create our energy acceptor which is four piece of iron plus a quartz glass and a quartz glass is a quartz powder plus regular glass. Uh, you see it says accept any black glass and this is uh, dust. So in order to get that we need to convert our quartz to dust and uh, I'll be back. All right, so I am back and I gathered enough material to create one of these. So, um, okay, it was the energy acceptor and we can create one energy acceptor. I'm going to place this one down here. Next, we need to create our Emmy drive, which requires an engineering processor. So, what's an engineering processor? It's a printed engineering circuit with a printed silicon combined with a redstone. This is quite easy. We need a silicon for it. And the other one, we need to inscribe a diamond using an inscribing, inscriber engineering press. So, let's just do one on the screen and I'll do the rest off screen. Uh, okay, inscribing engineering press and two pieces of diamond. Oh, and I forgot you need to place them one at a time. And that's the way we do it. So, I'll go ahead and create a dress of stuff and come back. <laughs> so, it turned out that I did not have enough leather coats. So, I came down in the nether. I'm going to collect some more nether quartz. And I know that I don't have an enchanted pig and this is not efficient, but it doesn't matter. We just want to get things done. So I'll gather some more and I'll go back to Cephas and see you. So I went for a little bit of mining session because we ran out of uh, what is this? Certus quartz. And my axe. My sword broke and I had to axe a zombie to death, which it was really unpleasant. But now I think we should have everything we need. So let's just quickly go back to the surface and crap everything up. Alright, so with my last uh, charge. Certus Quartz Crystals, I crafted this machine which basically charges your crystals and it's really fast, wow, it used to be really slow okay 
I think we need one and another quartz and a redstone we dump them down here we get back our flux crystals okay and uh, okay we need the dust hang on all right so now we should be able to craft up our final pieces which should be these and then these and then the uh, logic press yeah and then our me terminal so i have already pressed down the me drive and in, you can see that it has like 10 i think slots and uh i'm going to put my 1k me storage cell here so you can see that you can store up to 124 items but maximum of 63 types which is a little bit limiting but it's a start and finally our terminal okay um how should i place it okay i think i have enough cable to put one here and do this yeah and yeah i can just press everything and it will automatically so here which is perfect this is exactly what we want and uh, a little bit of warning if we ever run out of power which we might do because we are basically living off of this one coal generator the whole thing will stop working and so we should at least put aside some block of coal outside of the system so in case of emergency we can recover it. but for now i'm going to move this into a home and this one as well and i think i think we don't need you anymore and if you ever need i mean there are lots of water around so i'm gonna place down the core down here and by the core i mean the image drive and put the where did we go okay the 1k storage cell here um did i broke my glass okay let's move this up let's move it here with the 1k storage unit an energy acceptor here a coal generator here and i think i know which one it is so one two three four four bar one two three okay that's the worst possible place i'm going to place it here and change everything back so you go there you come here you go where did you go you go there oh no my pickaxe broke okay i'll uh sort of bring it out and i'll come back to you all right guys i am back and i think i'm finally finished so i cleaned up everything we have no chest here or down there well, we have one chest, but that's our emergency coal chest. And here is everything we own. Nice. We can query things, like we can say potato. And we can see that we have 289 potato and two poisonous potatoes, which is great. And iron, we can see that we have everything we need over here. But Applied, energi applied Energistics has a lot of more cool features for example there is a crafting terminal which is really awesome and i want to do it next but i don't have the resources for it now and there is also crafting there is inventory management there is lots of different farms you can build for this one but 
I think this video has uh, become too long as of now, so I'm gonna edit it a lot, and uh, in the later episodes we can try to build those things. And also I think I need to uh, create a cable from here to our lab over there, in order to have access to our terminal easily over there as well. And solve those things, and I will hopefully see you in the next one. Bye-bye!